Hi folks, hope you're having a good week. Um, John 15 is a very dense um, passage um, and there's just so many things in there that I was really sad I couldn't I couldn't cover on on Sunday. Um, so if you would like to go back through by yourself, I really, really encourage you to do that. Um, but also if there, there was quite a lot of Bible passages um, involved on Sunday, so I want to just give those to you. And if you want to, you know, in your own time, just get your teeth a bit further into, um, you know, abiding in Christ and um, living a fruitful life, then just go and check out um, these passages prayerfully. Um, just read through them, make some notes um, and just be sure to share them with someone else. So we have John 15, 1 to 17, John 14, Verse 16, James 4, verse 6, Romans 4, 23, Philippians 3, 1 to 3, Colossians 1, 9 to 23, Ephesians 2, 8 to 9, and Galatians 2, 20. Um, there's two choices for you this week um, in what you want to do in life groups. Um, so you can either do a Bible study of John 15, that is well worth the time. Um, or you can meditate on one or two verses using um, a technique that I've learned in the House of Prayer that I'll show you in a moment. Um, if you choose to do the Bible study, then have a read of John 15 together again and have a look at verse 10 of John 15, where Jesus says, if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I've kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. And we've all probably distanced ourselves from God when we've sinned. Um, and in that place, we can start to feel like God doesn't love us um, because of our disobedience. Um, so discuss these questions. Is Jesus saying that we earn the love of God by our obedience? And did Jesus earn the father's love by his obedience? It's interesting that we can actually remain in his love by giving his love to one another in community. Um, in, in verse 17, again, um, it talks a little bit about that. So have another read of that. Um, Jesus commands us to love one another. Uh, if you and I both obey the command to love and we both receive the love of Christ through one another, um, so discuss these questions. How easy do you find loving people in the church community? And how do you think you can grow in that and produce more of the fruit of love? And how easy do you find it receiving love from people in the church community? And how do you think you can grow in that? Um, if you decide to do this meditation exercise, what I want you to do um, is get yourself a piece of paper an A4 piece, preferably, um, and then, then divide it into these three sections. So a margin coming down here and then another one at the bottom with a bigger space in the middle. Well, on this side. Um, this will be for your verse or your passage that you choose that you're going to meditate on, maybe one or two maximum. Um, this will be for tasks. Whenever we sit down to, you know, really try and seriously study the Bible, usually all of the other things that we have to do in our day come flooding into our minds. And this is just a place to store them so we can get them down on paper, get them out of our head and stay focused on what we're doing. Down here, this box is called Pursuits. And this is for any passages or themes in the Bible that come into our minds that we want to look up as to how they relate later on. We don't want to do that as we're doing this exercise so we want to keep them there so we can do that later on so we can keep our focus here if you look up in this corner um r w s s p um the r stands for read it so the first thing we're going to do is read the verse um or verses that we're going to jot down then we're going to write it we're going to write it down here um, and then we can, you know, begin to rewrite it, translate it into our own words, um, write the things that God starts to speak to us about through that. Um, we're going to say it. Sometimes when we say 
um, something out loud, it causes us to think more deeply about what it is we're actually saying, maybe think about how it might be said, which might add to the meaning. Um, then we're going to sing it. Um, by the way, we're going to put on some music in, in the background. So if we're, if we're on Zoom, then we can just, someone can share their screen and just play, play some instrumental music in the background. Um, wow. It just helps us to, to focus on, on what we're doing. And so you can mute yourself, um, and sing, sing the verse, sing things that, um, God begins to show you, um, sing to the Lord through the things that you're, um, that you're understanding um, or that you're trying to understand. There's something about singing that just adds another level of, of depth um, to anything that we're saying. And sometimes that can help us to understand things a little bit more um, and even just open us up more to, to what God wants to say to us. Um, and the last one, P, is pray it. So pray the things that are in the verse or verses. Pray um, the things that you're getting from them. And just engage God in conversation about the passage to get more understanding and more revelation. So if you do that together um, for about 15 minutes and then everyone just come together and share the things that um, you feel like God's shown you through through your, your time of meditation. Um, and of course, you can do that by yourselves as well. Um, enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Bless you.